To create a checklist for learners in your course, you can select the checklist activity from the content picker. Give your checklist a name and an optional description that can be displayed to learners on the activity page or on the general course page. In the checklist settings, you can decide whether learners will be allowed to add their own items or tasks to the checklist and whether they will be able to add comments to the different items. You can also define who will be able to update the checklist, whether due dates for the different checklist items should be added to learners' calendars, and whether course administrators and managers will be able to add comments to the different items. By default, the checklist activity is graded. You can define the maximum number of points a learner can earn for this activity. Each item in the checklist will then make up an equal share of this maximum. You can also select whether a notification email should be sent upon a learner's completion of the checklist and to whom this email should be sent. You can decide to create your own checklist items once the activity has been added to your course. Alternatively, you can automatically add all the activities and resources from either a specific section or the whole course as items in the checklist. This list will then be updated as the course is updated. You can allow the items in the checklist to be automatically marked off as learners meet the activity completion requirements for the different items. You can also specify whether this can be overridden or not. Alternatively, learners will need to manually mark off checklist items. Finally, you can determine whether a course administrator or manager will be able to change an item's completion status once they have marked it off. In the common module settings, you can determine whether the checklist should be shown to learners or not. You can optionally assign the activity with an ID for tracking or reporting purposes. This field can typically be left blank. And if course groups are enabled within your course, you can determine the group mode that should be applied to this activity. You can also add restrictions to control the conditions under which learners will be able to access the checklist. In the activity completion section, you can determine how the checklist activity as a whole will get marked as completed. You can disable completion tracking entirely, require learners to manually mark the activity as completed, or specify conditions that learners must meet in order to have the activity marked as completed. In this case, you can require learners to receive a grade, require a specified number of items to be marked off, or both. You can also set a date on which the activity is expected to be completed. Finally, you can add tags to allow learners to search and connect related content. When you then click on Save and Display, your checklist will be added to your course. You will be able to preview any items that have been automatically added to your checklist. You can also use the included links to easily navigate to these activities from here. In the View Progress tab, you will be able to see which learners have completed which activities. This is also where you will be able to mark items as completed or override automatic completion marking. You can filter this page to view data for specific course groups, and you can select to hide checklist items that learners are not required to complete. You can also view learners' completion data as progress bars. This is the view that will be displayed to learners. In the Edit Checklist tab, you will be able to update your checklist. You can select items to show or hide from your checklist. This is also where you will be able to create new checklist items and add the links for learners to navigate to these tasks. When learners then view the checklist, they will be able to see all course activities or tasks that they must complete. And as they work their way through the list, their progress will reflect in the progress bar.